I'm about to create a new business out of thin air right in front of your eyes. What is going on everybody? My name is Ethan Dobbins and it is currently 5.02 p.m. and I have challenged myself with building a brand new dropshipping store in one afternoon. And after writing the notes for this video, you're basically gonna get an A to Z guide on how to start a brand new dropshipping store in less than 24 hours. So I was snooping around on AdSpy and I found this really eye-catching pyramid design and I've seen a few of these very spiritual Zen stores that have been taking off. Now the ads are very simple. This is just a collage of four different images of one pyramid. The ad copy honestly sucks. I don't think it's any good. It doesn't tell a story. It doesn't have many benefits. It's a really boring ad copy, but the images are really what's selling this. And then a few months later, another one of these Zen type of businesses copied and pasted this ad copy right here. And then basically the way they changed it, like let's say I'm copying your homework. You just got to make it a little bit different. They added a few emojis and a few more sentences. But overall, this ad copy is the exact same layout, the same collage type of format. And I'm thinking to myself, man, if someone who actually knew what the hell they were doing built a store in this niche, it could be extremely profitable. Now, before building your store and picking your niche in general, you need to be doing research on your competitors and seeing what are they actually doing that's working. Now, taking a look at our competitors right here, we see they have a bundle discount deal, which I definitely want to replicate. They have some good trust badges, free worldwide shipping. You know, it's the standard type of stuff. They have some bullet points, a video, and it's really nothing too crazy. Okay, they also have a good offer here where you get a free ebook, so that can definitely incentivize people to purchase. It's more perceived value in their order. Some more good trust badges and then we got some reviews. So nothing too crazy. We're going on to the next one right here. Price points are pretty similar. They're at $57, which for this right here seems like a lot of money. Copy is starting out extremely weak. I mean, that just is the worst place to put a quote. Uh, I mean, product description wise, it's laid out pretty poorly. I mean, I like that they have recommended products. No reviews at all. I am shocked that this business is still running ads today. So now we've established our competitors, but the next step is coming up with our business name. And for that, I like to use business name generator and name licks. So basically all you have to do is put your keywords in. So for me, I'm gonna do Zen, Karma, Nirvana, cause we're doing a spiritual type of store. We're gonna click generate and I'm doing, I believe a branded name as the type. And we got a bunch of suggestions right here. So how I like to pick my name is making sure that the .com is available on GoDaddy. Cause typically when that's the case, there really isn't any other business that's established that has that name. So we got a lot of good names on these tools. We have like zenheal.com, that sounds pretty good. I saw Pure Zen. There's a lot of good names here that I think would work for our business. Looking at uh, businessnamegenerator.com, when we're going down here, Flashing Zen, Touch Karma, a lot of cool names that I would never come up myself because I'm just not that creative. Now the name I decided to go with is Zen Galaxy. I just love the idea of a universe or some sort of palace where you can buy all these different Zen spiritual items, just your one-stop shop for all of that. And to get the .com, it's 3,000 schmackaroos, so I'm not gonna pay anywhere near that. And I decided to get the .net, which was only $9. Now when it comes to getting your logo done for your dropshipping store, you really have two different options which is A, you can go onto Fiverr, pay a designer about $10. I typically like to go this route because there's just so much supply. There's so many great freelancers, but there's not enough businesses that have a demand for this. Like as we can see right here, there's 33,000 people designing logos for a living and you can choose between minimalist, I personally like that, 3D, freestyle, all these different options and you just have to pay them around $10 and I like to usually pay about for these different freelancers to compare the different logos that I get. Or you can jump onto Canva for free and then go to the element section, look up your niche, and they usually have a ton of different shapes and designs that you can use for your logo. So now we have to pick a font. I got Zen Galaxy typed out and I'm thinking as an idea, probably want to go somewhat boho, somewhat freestyle, very spiritual, because that's sort of the vibe we're giving off. Uh, so I'm going to go through these different fonts. There's so many different categories and pick something that I think will work. Not going to lie, I think this one right here is a winner. March rough, pretty nice looking design. I think that definitely fits the whole aesthetic that we're going for. So now we got the font. We need to get a nice spiritual logo on top of it. So I found this cool little lotus flower right here that we're going to be using for the actual logo. So I'm going to make this pretty much like this. I have it as an Instagram post. And right there we got under is the name and boom shakalaka, we got our logo done in a couple of minutes. 
Now, after all that, you are qualified to start your free trial on Shopify. You got your niche selected, your name, your logo, domain. So now let's start our 14 day free trial. Now for your address, you have a couple of options where you can put your actual home address and then people who return back broken packages can just send them to you. And I used that a lot back in my earlier days with jewelry because I didn't have custom content. But nowadays I have a virtual address and you can rent this for only 10 bucks a month. So if you don't want anyone to know your address and you just want a place that people can send their mail or et cetera, just have a virtual address for $10. Now, once you're onto the dashboard of your brand new business, let's go down to settings and set up our back end. So let's first hop onto payments because this is a very important part that you need to have set up. Now, I always recommend to have Stripe as your main payment provider or Shopify payments when you're a beginner and also have PayPal. I recommend having a business account. It's very imperative that you have both because typically around 10 to 20% of your purchases are gonna come from PayPal. So for PayPal, we're gonna click this nice big button, complete account setup, and it's gonna just basically ask us to log in, authorize payments, and we should be good to go. Yeah, it's really that simple. Honestly, it takes like two steps. I don't know why anyone has trouble with that. I know with some countries, it can be a little more difficult, but next is getting Stripe. Now, they don't have this available for US, so if you really want and you live in the US, you can just put France or one of the countries that does have Stripe connected with Shopify, and then during tax season, you can switch your address back to the US. This is a little hack that I learned from one of my mentors and I just used it for tax season so yes it does work so next we have our checkout settings so let's get into this right now I'm gonna do accounts are optional I do like to have people create accounts in case they want to repeat shop and that's definitely an option you want to have uh, they can check out either using phone number or email that's perfectly fine with me I do like to have this section right here so we can get some phone numbers onto our text message marketing list. Full name, not required, just last name. Uh, anything else outside of that? Uh, you could do the tipping option. I have seen some people have success with that. Personally, I'm not yeah, really into it. Uh, definitely need to have enable address auto completion because I hate typing out my address complete into any checkout I'm doing. I'm very lazy. I need to type in the first three numbers and you automatically tell me where I live. Next, we get into shipping and delivery. So you're gonna click on manage rates. And I've done this the exact same way for years because guess what? When you have something that works, you really don't need to change it. So we're gonna scroll on down here. I like to have one zone. I know they give you two, but you can just get rid of this and have every single country into one zone. And therefore you don't have to do this twice. But I like to have a couple of different shipping options. So this is gonna depend on where you advertise, but I like to do Europe and mainly English speaking countries. So I'm gonna have Europe, Australia is definitely gonna be one of my main countries that I advertise to. United States is gonna be in there. We're gonna also have to have Canada, but this is mainly gonna be the most countries I'm advertising to. So the first option we're always gonna have is free shipping. Your customers expect this and you wanna have a great checkout conversion rate. So you need to have this because people do expect it. So after free shipping, I like to do priority insured shipping. You guys can copy this. And I typically have this as 10% of my average order value and I'm expecting that for this company to be around 45 to 50 bucks so I'm gonna do 499 for this option right here and this is the whole entire text I usually just have these two options but you also have the option to do one year warranty or in my case I think three month warranty makes more sense so I'm gonna do three month warranty plus priority insured shipping and that's gonna be 20% of my average order value. So I believe that it's gonna be around 7.99 ish. Now you're not done with settings right now. We wanna hop onto legal as the last step we do because before we run any ads, we wanna make sure we have some clear policies for refunds, returns, or privacy policy because this is just stuff that people do expect and they do look at. So you can create from the template right here that Shopify gives you. They have a refund policy, privacy policy. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna click Control A, Control C, you're gonna click online store, go to pages, and then you're gonna create a brand new page where you just paste all of that text. So right here we have, I believe this was our privacy policy that we just copied, let me go up. Yeah, so privacy policy, we're gonna just title it like this, and we're gonna put this on the footer of our website when we get into creating our menus. Alrighty, so we got our first pages set up with track your order, our shipping times, cancel order policy, contact us. Now, for contact us, this is a very simple hack that you can do if you're brand new to creating Shopify stores. So this is what I have for text for any questions, you can just message this contact page. And all you have to do for the template is change it to page.contact. And it turns into this little contact form that people can fill out whenever they have an issue or they want to inquire about your product. Now, the next step is to actually source the products and add them to our website. So I have CJ Dropshipping and Oberlo here, and we're going to look for this product on both different sources to see where are we getting our best prices and our best shipping times. 
Now to look for these products, I'm gonna do a reverse Google image search, so search Google for image. And sorry about all the lighting changes, the sun just came out, so we had to do some last minute quick visual and lighting adjustments. Now let's go and type in AliExpress, so that we get AliExpress links. This one, okay, cool, so it's $26, which explains why people are charging around $49 to $57. Uh, shipping wise, it's gonna take about a month. For CJ dropshipping, I'm just gonna look up the word pyramid and we're gonna just scroll on down here and it looks like it has a lot of the similar types of ones like this one right here, I saw on one of the websites. So we got two different suppliers. This one's been listed more, so probably has a better deal or a better supplier. So let's definitely check this one out. Really cool designs. I mean, these are really flashy eye catching and it's only seven bucks, oh my goodness. $26, but on CJ it's $7, and our shipping is eight to 13 days. No brainer, half the shipping times, half the product cost. We're going with CJ. Now for listing a product on CJ, it's very, very simple. So simple that I'll show you how to do it in a couple of seconds. So you're gonna click the list button, then edit before listing, and it'll take you to a page like this. Then you have to click on your store, you have to make a product type, so you might have to click add new, then just categorize what the product is. Vendor, just click add new, then do Zen Galaxy or the name of your brand. Uh, for product, not gonna change the title, I don't really care about that. Images, we'll source that from our different suppliers and all the ones out there. Now, we're gonna click on our product, for price, I'm gonna do $39.99 since that's still above a $25 margin. And for shipment, I'm gonna do most of my orders to United States. And for the default shipping option, I'm gonna do CJ Packet Ordinary and bada bing, bada boom, we're good to go. Now, if you're having trouble finding winning products, I explain my entire strategy and all the tools that I like to use to find my own six-figure products that I've used to scale my brand. So if you wanna check out that video, there'll be a link in the top right corner with that thumbnail. Now, getting to the rest of the apps you're gonna need on your website, these are the ones I highly recommend. And I made an entire video about my nine favorite Shopify apps and how to install them, what I do for the settings and all this. So I'm not gonna explain it in this video, but if you wanna check out the full breakdown, click right here for the thumbnail and you can watch the whole setup. Now I will do a little bit of explaining on my emails and SMS because those are the real meat and potatoes when it comes to your dropshipping brand. So for emails, you wanna be very cognizant of your email deliverability. That's the most important thing that a lot of people get wrong because their emails go to the spam filter or promotions tab and that is just absolute death for your open rates and click-through rates. So to make sure your emails actually get delivered into people's inbox and not the promotions tab, you wanna think of your emails like two different categories. There's personal and then there's businesses. And business emails typically go into the promotions tab. So you wanna disguise your emails as personal. So when we look at this email by Fashion Nova, this went straight into my promo tab because look at all this HTML and custom design. And I understand people think this is what a really good business email looks like, but it isn't because the most important part is deliverability. And these email filters know when businesses are putting logos, custom stuff, and they know personal emails don't have any of that stuff. So I would make sure if you're gonna put your logo in your actual emails that you're sending out, put it at the very bottom, not at the top so that spam filters can't detect it at the beginning because they can measure the HTML and they know when that stuff is there because they've been doing this millions and millions of times. So I like to keep my emails super simple, don't like to overdo any HTML or custom designs and just have it formatted like this. Now for subject lines, I keep them very short and punctual. That typically works the best and try to make it personalized. So for this first email, I do for Ethan Dobbins, for Sam Mitchell, for whatever the person's name is, uh, cause that's typically an email you'll see when you're sending to your colleagues. Then for the second email subject line, I did, hey Ethan, or just Ethan, did you forget this? because that is a very, very relatable subject line. And then again, we look at the formatting of the second email. Hey, client name, how would you like your own 15% off discount code, et cetera, et cetera. This is my virtual address. This is just a cool little alias for one of my reps because I figured out that honestly, people are a little more receptive to female names than male names when it comes to emails. I send this email three hours after and then the final email I sent is just last chance to get your discount code. But for the subject line, I just do RE. This is important because you see that very, frequently in personalized emails and people are more receptive to it. So again, very, very simple. I have the logo at the bottom. When it comes to SMS, which is also a staple of your abandoned cart follow-up sequence, this is what I like to do. This is just basically the default 
uh, SMS text. So we got, hey, whatever your name is, we noticed there were some items left in your shopping cart. And all you have to do is just use the default message that SMS bump gives you. After 60 minutes, so an hour, I like to do my second text message, which is just giving them a discount code, incentivizing people to shop now, because typically the two main reasons why people are not gonna buy from you the first time is price or they just don't trust you enough. So I like to give people a discount code and really try to incentivize them, hey, to shop now, because hey, you're getting this discount code, but it's gonna expire soon. So there's some urgency to it. There's a reason to act now. And then finally, I do one after 12 hours, uh, which basically is a 10% off discount code. Same exact one, but it's just saying that, hey, it's gonna expire, so make sure to get this now. Now, the next thing we have to do is design our home pages and product pages for our website. Now, I will admit, I'm very rusty when it comes to this. I don't personally like to do this part. I like to be the marketing expert, the person who does the advertising, and I do have someone on my team who builds websites, but you know what? I'm gonna challenge myself today. I have uploaded one custom theme. This is what it looks like so far. It's gonna have a lot of, you know, empty spaces that we're gonna have to fill out, but this is the general overall designs. We got different collections. We have a little uh, bio of our story about our brand, and then our footer is looking pretty nice. So for our banner image, I typically like to do either one or two. I think for this, we're just gonna do one. We're gonna pick a nice little zen image, put some text on it, maybe just a spiritual quote that sort of incorporates our entire brand and how we feel. Then we'll have the shop now button. So. I'm just gonna look for a different, pretty good Buddhist design. Maybe this one right here, that looks really cool. Then add some text and it should look pretty nice. And bada bing, bada boom, we got our new image made. I did this in Photoshop really, really quickly. So we got a white background design, that's what I wanted to go for. And for our headline, I did for a limited time only, save 40% off all our pyramids. I got the little logo slapped on. For a limited time only, use our code ZEN10 to get a discount of 10% off. Well, we got a lot of stuff established. Uh, this is what we have so far. Don't have anything for our story. I have uploaded a few more pyramids and also this little necklace here, just so that we have more uh, options for our products. And we got our popular collections, which is pyramids, bestsellers, jewelry. And then I decided to do this little newsletter, super simple, uh, just click on it right quick. Uh, just has a little image to the left and then some text. Alrighty, so for our menus, we have three set up. This is in the navigation section of your online store. So we have customer support, very simple, contact us, track your order, shipping times. For our main menu, the first thing people are gonna see, actually, let me get rid of home. I never have home there because people can just click the logo to go back to home. I have best sellers, pyramids, jewelry, new arrivals, our story. Let's save that. And then the final thing is I like to have my policies also just nice and neat and orderly for my customers to check out. I have finally crafted a beautiful R story, which basically is just a rip off of another brand and I put my own name on it. <laughs> so I just did for the past three years, Zen Galaxy has helped over 5,000 souls manifest their intentions and dreams. I just reworded a lot of stuff that I saw online. I just put the best stuff together, reworded it, you know, uh, changed it a little bit. Obviously, I don't want to copy people. And just like that, our homepage is nice and neat. We're looking really good. Zen Galaxy just copied and pasted that whole entire thing right there. Uh, we're going to scroll on down and then I have about Zen Galaxy. Now, Zen Pages does have some templates for the product pages and I do believe this one is going to be the one we go with. So we'll just go with Zen Create and this is going to be our template. Now, for color scheme, I decided to pretty much model what Pure Vita does. I love this teal green that they use. It looks really beautiful, and that's what we're gonna use for all of our sign-up buttons. So let's go onto Gem Pages, uh, apply password, okay. Now, as I've already said, I hate designing my websites on my own. I usually outsource that to someone with more experience, but Gem Pages has made this whole process so much easier to do and actually fun to design your website. You can really build the product page of your dreams, and it's so easy to do, and you don't need to know any coding. So for the buy and now, button that adds a cart you can change it to add to cart if you would like there's so many ways you can customize it maybe you don't want a black add to cart and you want to make it red super simple to do you can scroll on down they have different templates now for me personally I'm gonna customize this a little bit more uh, I think for the shipping and warranty we'll just do hey one to two week worldwide shipping super easy to do but uh, last step I think I really want to maybe take out is this section right here. I think it looks a little bit spammy. So all we have to do is just click delete and we can get rid of these whole entire rows. You can add Luke's photo reviews. I have it right here. You can do it as an extension. When we scroll on down, we have this evergreen countdown timer. So basically whenever somebody visits my product page, that countdown timer will go down from the time they've arrived. So it's really awesome. You can reset the countdown. So two hours, 25 minutes is what I personally like to do. I have spiritual sale ends once the timer hits zero. So just having some urgency. For my order guarantees, I like to make mine stand out compared to my competition because everyone does 
the same generic boring ones. So for me, I like to do one to two week worldwide shipping, 24 seven bulletproof customer service, not just award winning customer service so that you can have frequent updates. And really I'm just giving them the benefits of our customer service. And then my 30 day better than risk free guarantee. I mean, that is just, it sounds professional. People are like, whoa, I mean, what, how is it better? Well, you can have a complete full refund or replacement of your order within 30 days. And that's what most order guarantees are. But when you phrase it like this, better than risk-free instead of just, hey, money back guarantee, super boring generic copy, people do notice. We have Globo Sticky Add to Cart right here so they can click buy now. We have some recommended products, a why shop from a section that we basically just got its inspiration from, from Pura Vida. I think it looks really cool. So I put my own twist on it. We got a nice little font going on. Each product is handmade with love. 30 day better than risk free guarantee. And I also saw this frequently asked question section on one of my competitors, not sure which one. Uh, if we scroll through these, yeah, it was this one right here. So they had some explanations for how the pyramids work. So I thought that's really cool. So I added this accordion row right quick and then you can do an FAQ where you have the different question. Then you have the answer once you click on it. Looks really good. And then we have reviews at the bottom. Now hold your horses, I know this is a lot, but we have to get onto the copywriting section which is getting our amazing benefits and doing customer research so that we can understand what our customers really care about. So since we're selling this Organite Pyramid, what you wanna do is go into Amazon, find a product that's very similar. Now you can look at the product description, but I find out that you're just copying other people that most likely haven't done market research either. So instead of trying to guess what people want, because that's the death of your business, assuming you know what the customer wants, because really you don't know until you do the research and read the reviews, because people are telling you why they're buying this item. So when we look at reviews, we wanna see what are people saying over and over and over again and usually what I like to do is I'll just copy those lines and descriptions into a brand new word document and see what I'm seeing over and over again and when you do this for 30 minutes to an hour you really get to understand who's your customer what's the gender and what do they actually care about so right here in our word doc okay it's a very beautiful piece this is a sleep aid for me I would have honestly never guessed if I didn't read it I feel more energetic I'm getting better sleep so clearly that's something we have to talk about, sleep. And then we see, okay, beautiful, giving me more energy. This is the stuff you have to talk about. Instead of just saying, oh, it's a really cool pyramid. It does all this chakra stuff and makes your life better. So I summarized the main benefits at the bottom here. So sleep is arguably the biggest benefit that people are noticing. Also, it's a nice piece for your office, for your home, your room. People are saying that they're getting more energy from it. And really, this is a product where if you believe it works, then it's gonna work for you. It's sort of like, you know, athletes, how they're superstitious and they believe that if they put their left foot out of the bed first, they're gonna have a good game. And if they have their right foot step down first, oh, well, I mean, I'm gonna go 0 for four. I'm gonna give up four goals. So it seems to be somewhat in that category, but I think the major emotional benefit that we're selling here is hope. It's transformation. It's you're gonna get a better life once you receive this item in your life. You'll have more energy, which is gonna to lead to more productive work. So you'll get higher promotions, you'll make more money. You'll be able to spend more time with your family and just live a more fulfilling life. And I do believe that is what people are really seeking. Honestly, this whole entire process has been very eye-opening to me, getting into the spiritual world and how people think, where they put all this intrinsic value and health properties into inanimate objects, pyramids, and they really do believe it gives them more energy. It's gonna make their life better. And even though science can never prove that, and it will never, it sort of has this placebo effect on people. So for the first rough draft of my product description, this is what I came up with. The handmade amethyst blue quartz pyramid will not only steal your breath away, but it will breathe new life and energy into you and your family. So we're hitting on that energy benefit that people do care about. Then we got an instant improvement in your sleep quality and more lucid dreams. Again, sleep. Big, big one. Then we have it's a great gift for highly sensitive people. I think we got some benefits here, you know, healthy balance, restores hope, all of these great benefits. Then we have some specifications, which we have to have. Then we have a nice little call to action for a limited time only. Click buy now to get 40% off. So I might change that to make it a little more descriptive, but for now, we got a good rough draft. Now for your social media pages, I recommend having an Instagram page set up and also a Facebook page, but really at the core, you just need a Facebook page for your brand. So I recommend making around three posts that educate your audience like this right here, the tree of life. It's a fantastic relic that utilizes these stones. You know, it's a beautiful pyramid. Just 
basically just copy what's already out there in your market and put your own twist on it. With your Instagram page, I recommend buying about a thousand followers and also buying some likes. And I'll show you some resources for where you can buy those. For buying followers, I recommend Buzzoid. It's a thousand followers for only $13. And again, guys, the reason why you're buying followers and likes is just so you can have that third party social proof. Because the first impression people are gonna have with your business is that page. So if you only have two or five followers, people are never going to trust your brand in the beginning. So just buying the social proof initially can be a great boost to your conversion rate. And keep in mind, you're not trying to grow organically with your e-commerce brand. You're trying to make money through ads because when you have the skill to put a dollar into ads and make two dollars back, that's a lot more valuable than, oh, I can get good organic likes because you can't deposit likes into your bank account. So make sure you have these two all set up. Now for creating some Facebook ads, I did write an ad copy right here that you guys can check out. So transform your life and become the best version of yourself with this pyramid. We got three nice benefits, then a call to action with some urgency. So getting people to click on our ad. Now I would create multiple ad copies and really just feature you know, this collage because that's what's working. I might also do a carousel with the four images side by side. But for ad copies, I like to test typically two to three and I have different formats for doing that as well. Now when I'm split testing my ad copies my headlines, I typically like to do two different personas. I like to create urgency through a sale. So first off for a limited time only, save 60% off this pyramid. And that's obviously just creating urgency because hey, you can save some money. But as another perspective, I like to think of it as not really creating an ad, but getting people to check out somewhat of an article. So for articles, they obviously don't have sales. So I might do something like, hey, check out the pyramids that spiritual lovers cannot stop raving about because that just sounds like a nice little clickbait article it's a lot more friendly and it's not super in your face like hey you need to buy 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 and people get turned off by that language so i do like to split test hey this is just a pyramid it has all of these benefits right here that'll make your life better and you can just check it out so that's all i got and if you want a part two where i launch facebook ads for this store make sure to leave a like down below and comment saying you want facebook ads immediately last thing i did create a free case study that you guys can check out down below that reveals the deadly traps of finding winning products and this information will save you thousands of dollars every single month with your brand and this is stuff that no other guru would tell you so i recommend clicking that link down below to get more information